Hello, my name is Robert Jameson. I'm a junior here at Millersville, and my major is secondary education in social studies and government affairs. So I chose social studies and government affairs as my subject of concentration because I have a fondness of learning about politics and history. So I didn't get into politics until like COVID, because me and my grandfather would t- watch a lot of like on news and stuff. I think my dad would talk about it on occasion too, and so. I kind of grew our quick relationship between politics. Uh, actually, both my parents are both teachers too, so that kind of inspired me to uh, be a teacher, especially my dad, since he was a he's a middle school teacher now, but he taught history and um, history and African American studies in high school, and that kind of inspired me to teach history and politics right now in high school level. Um, so I think students learn best through experience, in my opinion. It helps uh, to bring like the potential to fruition, like it shows you hands-on experience, stuff like that. Um, I think the best way to teach my my preferred grade of 10th to 12th grade, 10 to 12th graders in history and politics is to have uh, like debates, like in the classrooms, or discuss biases in the news or news organizations in a you know in a fun way, in an inter- interactive way. Uh, for my government class, but it comes to the history class, I'll try to get them engaged and learn about the bigger scheme of history and understand the importance of studying the past and its many lessons that we uh, face. Uh, one of the biggest issues I think that's influencing many students right now in the classrooms is funding, actually, or lack thereof, funding, lack thereof, <laughs> um, especially in schools like Pennsylvania, because I know our Supreme Court ruled in the basic court where the uh, our education is underfunded and unconstitutional, so that kind of needs to be fixed immediately. Um, I can make a difference by working with like the best resources that school I don't my school district gives me, uh, and put my best foot forward while teaching this while teaching with the resources that I have. And I can also reach out to see what resources I can try to find out to, or create to make a better working environment. Uh, for my students, um, and I kind of believe like I'm so education policies are really close to my heart. So I get very personal of it because I saw the differences between the school districts, the school districts, uh, and their students. Like where I went to, vastly different to our school districts. They were better funded. Um, compared to my parents' school districts, who were not that fun and not, not as well, so all well, their stuff was kind of closed down, or stuff like that. It just wasn't wasn't good compared to my school. Um. So yeah, and then when it comes to like rating myself, it came to it came to the professional behaviors needed for teaching. I'm kind of all over the place because you know just starting out, but uh. In the end, I think this blog will help me to become an effective history slash political science teacher that allow me that, that will allow my students to be engaged in the classroom and learn something pretty much every day. So for so our way done was for demonstrates professional communication, I would give myself developing oh what sure up professional communication, I would give myself to give myself developing professionally because I haven't uh Communicate with parents, students, faculty, or staff yet, because I'm, you know, stood myself still. So I think I can make decent judgments though that are sound. Uh, I can use for communicating professionally, but I still need practice, of course. So uh, for demonstrates honesty and integrity, I chose unprofessional because I haven't gotten a chance to show my integrity in a teaching setting in a classroom, and it doesn't work on behalf of the school district yet. So. Who respects diversity and civil rights of others? I said professional behavior for me, since uh, I already advocate for civil rights for all who discriminate on the basis of race, race, national, ethnic origin, culture, religion, and etc. I also advocate a uh, student myself for an exercise of political and civil rights responsibilities and challenges. Others disagree. For part- for participates in professional professional community. I said I'm a professional behavior because I'm just joining the profession, so I don't have any uh, colleague relationships at all. Uh, and 
I don't share, I guess, share planning work, working stuff since I'm still starting out. Uh, I also don't um, don't move beyond the university in the classroom by like volunteering or participating in activities related to professional growth. Besides that one thing you told us to go to, I think in February, I'm going to go to that. So I'll do that. Um, when it comes to demonstrating professional relationships with students, I said a professional behavior because I haven't worked with students yet. And lastly, for demonstrates a commitment to becoming a professional, I said professional behavior because I'm trying to become a prof- uh, success, successful professional teacher uh, and I'm willing to commit to education and making it a better environment for my future students in their classroom. So thank you. This is Robert and have a nice day.